We're almost there. Sneaking, are we? We've already looted this room once. A key required. Need another key? Soldier than a bandit, eh? Yeah, you're tougher than your mother was. You'll die bitch. just the same. Make him die in pain. Oh, don't worry, he's dead. He got absolutely wrecked. Quick, untie me. Thanks, Geralt. I heard something behind that door. There's nothing here. It's storage. There's someone sleeping here. Don't leave me here. Please. You don't look like a whore elf. My name is Morrow. What month is it? This is no time to chat. Can you walk? I'll not stay here any longer. Even if I must crawl out. She won't make it through the garden, Geralt. We must leave by the front. Lead the way. We'll be right behind you. So, what month is it? Lammas. Autumn's begun. When they kidnapped me, it was snowing. And the child's father is... This child has only a mother. When I realized I was pregnant, I wanted to kill myself. 
I... I can't make it. I think I... Damn. Her water broke. Geralt, change of plans. But... Back to the tower. I need a clean bed, hot water, and some time. I agree. You can't be disturbed. Go get help. Well, who am I going to get? I just killed everyone. Oh, wait. Uh, never mind, David. Don't want to help. looting they have nothing of value anyway let's exit I see we're in time. Where have you been, Roach? A little problem along the way. Hey, did he kill uh, him? Sumerian Special Forces, created by Foltes to combat the Scoyatal after the first war with Nilfgaard. Veterans, professionals, the best of the best. This is the end, Roach. See these emblems? Temerian lilies, that's all I lacked. I've defeated the commanders of all the Special Forces in the North. Now I shall unite the Scoyatal. Finish what you started. I shan't kill you, Roach. We Enshe never kill the last specimens of dying breeds. Live on and remember who defeated you. Remember he can do so again. Va fail, Vernon Roach. You're making a mistake, Jorveth. I will find you. The Horson ran away, but I'm sure he'll show up again. Bloody non-humans. Enough of Jorveth. What's with Lorido and where's Vess? Lorito's dead. I saved Vess. Barely. What happened? Your plan was hardly the most. A boy, Geralt! A healthy what? boy! Whose child is that? Morals. Whose? We found an elf woman Lorito kidnapped almost a year ago. He was the father. I'd never touch a she-elf. <laughs> Enough! We don't have time for that. The ship's waiting. Oh no. Oh no, wait. This little wrist. Why did you do it? Why? Don't touch me. 
I hate this town. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it is one town. Prepare the boat. We sail immediately. What about the kid? It's not coming with us. And who in this hellhole will take in a half-breed? Saharam. Take it to Saharam in Lobenden. And make sure to tell him it's Morrill's child. The assassin had had his day. Very true. He'd kidnapped Triss Marigold. It seemed like Foltis's life had not been enough. It seemed like the killer also wanted the monarch's former advisor. There was no time to think. It was time to act. Grabbing Geralt, I embarked on a voyage upriver, deeper into the Pontar Valley. There, in a region known as Lormark, King Henseld of Kedwin had made camp with his army. King is the key word here denoting the central figure in my plan to capture the Kingslayer. The special forces of King made the soil light lightly upon him. Foltest had lost some of their customary enthusiasm, treating us to not one single joke of the how many ways can you skin an elf variety, which only goes to support my theory that the human mind is capable of producing a finite amount of horror before some manner of reflection springs itself upon it. Right, chapter two. It must have been a massacre! Bones everywhere! How in the world did Glevesig harness so much of the power? Do you always get so excited at the sight of skulls, Death Mode? <sighs> Scoff all you want, I speak of magic! Spells that win wars. Thousands incinerated in seconds. Ah, power, destruction, Bridget annihilation! Hail yes. to Henson. After which, Sabrina Glevesig was burned at the stake. And the Pontar Valley remains within Edern's borders. Edern is a carcass. Still showing life signs, but the realm's days are numbered. No peasant revolt can change that. You're wrong, Deathmold. This country lives. I can feel it. Like an old wounded bear covered in scars, hounds all round it, but still strong. Still deadly. This will be a good war. But, sire, the Edernian barons won't dare stand against sire, you. Sire! You shall see that the shortly. King. I've prepared everything. Baron Fellat has forever hinted Long live that he would gladly change his Chadwin, all is and forever. scum. The other nobles are panic-stricken at the very thought of Saskia with her peasant and non-human rebels. They are unprepared to fight and know it very well. And Demoven's cob? Has he named his price? Prince Stennis has yet to respond, but Fellat has assured me. I must see him. Look into his eyes. I'll know what he's made of then. I can't believe we have arrived. We most humbly greet His Majesty Henselt, King of Kedwin, heir to the dynasty of the Unicorn, Lord of Ard Kareg, Archduke of Banard, and Vanquisher of Nilfgaard. Welcome to Edern. How much do you want? Your Majesty surely jests. I couldn't be more serious. How much for your signatures? A hundred thousand Novigrad crowns, we thought, to each of us, and the titles of Marquis. Oh, we speak of Upper Edder, of coal and silver mines, numerous factories, the sole white marble quarry this side of the Yuruga, and the North's main east-west trade route. 
We speak of Lawmark. I advise you to adopt the new nomenclature. In exchange, we shall swear fealty and acknowledge your majesty as sovereign of these lands. You'll receive 50,000 apiece and no additional titles. Also, you'll provide guides and supplies to my army. My men will install themselves in your castles. Your armed men will gather under Sorcerer Deathbolt's command and will set out to quell the Peasant Rebellion. Sire, the common folk will hate. They simply won't understand. Yes, Felet, they will hate you, but at least this way you'll live. Comfortably, I might add. Refuse and die by my hand or that of Saskia the Dragon Slayer. So, Sire, we accept your conditions. Deathmold, the scroll. Sire, there is yet the matter of Prince Stennis and his rights to these lands. So long as he lives, <clears throat> So long as the prince lives, he'll force his claims. Then kill him, Felot. <laughs> Sire, I'm no warrior. In that case, shut up and sign. Sire, the dragon slayer approaches, white flag in hand. Excellent. Let her pass. What are you waiting for? Pick up those quills and sign. Just out of curiosity, what does Upper Eden sell for these days? Fifty thousand. How much would you have demanded, lass? King, command your vulture to shut his beak before I thrust his cockerel up his arse and twist so hard he'll crow until noon reverts to morning. I... Sire, you must have her restrained. Shut up, Deathmold. I've rather taken a liking to this Saskia. Say your peace, woman. King, withdraw your army, recognize Upper Eden's sovereignty and your persecution of non-humans, and give them leave to quit your realm. Do this, and save yourself and your army. <laughs> you have balls, woman, but what would I gain? My soldiers would call me a coward. I am Henselt of Ard Kareg. I'll not run from a woman, even if she be a dragon slayer. I see one other solution. You and I, King, here and now, before these folk and the gods, I challenge you. As in the old days, when the Honourable ruled this world, Upper Eden, to the victor! The lass has gone mad to challenge a king. Sire, this is absurd. We shall crush them in battle. They say the lass has slain a dragon. She could be dangerous. Precisely why she makes a worthy foe. Don't disappoint me, Dragon Slayer. Please show me how it's done. Begin. Right. We're going to be fighting. Facing one another in a chivalrous duel shall be Henselt of Art Craig, King of Kedwin, Sovereign of Cairngorm and Malior, last of the line of the Unicorn, and Saskia, the wench who killed a dragon. The victor shall take Lormark. May the gods settle this. Begin! Draw your sword! We can't dodge. No, 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 stop that. In the name of Kreev, Freyr, and Militale. What is he doing?
Look what you did. Hey, halt! What's with you, Zivik? Booze made you batty? Don't you recognize me? I'll be ploughed and damned. Why the hell did you bring him here, Roach? He's a witcher. I know who the horseman is. Ploughing Kingslayer at the gate of a king's camp? Why, he's not even bound. Easy, lads. The witcher's no murderer. I'll vouch for that. As for kings, well, I desperately need to see yours. You're in for a wait then, Mr. Special Mission Knight. Don't move, mutant! One of you go get the sergeant, and while you're at it, fetch a solid piece of rope to bind the freak. Come on, Zivik, no need for that. Where'd you say the king was? Out in the fields somewhere, negotiating. Hey, Kingslayer, drop your weapons, or do I need to pack a bolt up your ass? Don't move! Don't even twitch, mutant! Hands where I can see him! Shoot! Smash the freak! What the fuck? That looks kind of bad. These spectres were my soldiers. It's Sabrina's cross. And Ernie's are here as well. Admire the sights later. We have to go on. And you, friends. I must focus enough power for the spell. Yeah, they actually hit. In, yeah. Sort of hard. Oh, that's a big one.
There are two of them. Wonder how many more. That worked. Ready! Stay close to me! What the hell? Where did the sun go? It's an eclipse. Someone cast a curse. Very powerful. Oops. Died. These spectres were my soldiers. It's so oh, really good. Didn't get a saying. Admire the sight, sir. We have to go on. And your friends, I must focus enough power for the spell. one I guess I want the item that he drops chance we can lose the other one
Nevisix curse. She's out to kill me. Stay close to me, sire. It's not far. Let's hope so. I can't even see where we're going. Over there, I believe. Shit, you stink. is dissipating with near its end. Okay, almost there. stretched and I hope Death Mold, Sheeler, meet me in my tent. You're to explain what the hell happened there, and how we're to get rid of it. As you command, Your Majesty. I'll tolerate no delays on this matter, and summon all my company commanders. Immediately, Your Majesty. Corporal, I'd like you to watch the Witcher closely. He just pulled me from a magic hell, so I doubt he wants my head as he took fall tests. But I'll not have him wandering round the camp like some stray dog. Occupy him for a time, then bring him to my tent. Sire, I must request an audience. Later. I'll see my mages first, then the Witcher. Ah, just lovely. 
And here I'd hope for a calm little war. Nowhere I might wet my throat around here. Roach, willing to vouch for this overgrown urchin? He did not kill Foltest or Demavend, if that's what you're asking. You've got my assurance on that. Good enough for me. Let's go then. All right. Our armorer. Busy as ever with military commissions, but he'll take a private commission from time to time. That's good to know. Yeah? You're the quartermaster's assistant? Yeah. Great. I want to see the best equipment you have. I've got the coin. The army stands to gain, not lose by me. I should think so. So? So this one has the old breaker armor, which is even more expensive than the one we just bought in chapter one, including it has a sword, virgin and black unicorn. That is what we're going to be focusing on in this mission. Ah, we're here at last. The canteen, the most important place in the camp. If you ever get bored, you should find a monster contract or two on the notice board. Pick those up. May as well as giving us the tour of the camp. Hello. Here's where the king organizes tournaments. All glamour, ceremony, noses and cocks in the air. Between those, we kill time thrashing about with swords, pikes, chairs, the works. Good stuff, no holds barred. They pay well too if you know who to talk to and who to bet on. Excuse me a moment, Witcher. How did the fight go? You've a nose for the Civic. You won again. My gold? You gonna bet on more fights today? Of course. I'll come by later. We can do some betting. See him, Witcher. Loosen his bonds a bit and he's liable to jump at your throat like a rabid mutt. One of your Viscoyatel. How did you capture him? Scouts found him wounded in the ravines. Someone massacred a small unit. The boy said it was a bloodbath, as if the Reaper just swung his scythe right through them. Whoever attacked them was very strong. Any idea who it might have been? No. But if they managed to ambush elves in the wild, I'd rather not meet them. Right, Civic. Let's go see the king.
How's it going, lads? I can't feel me plowing feet from all this standing around. Any chance you'll be sending up some replacements? In an hour. Open up the gate. The king wants to see the Witcher. Yeah, yeah. Go straight to the royal tent. You can't miss it. I've a few things to take care of. Godspeed, Zivik. I'll be near the main gate if you need me. So long. Ha! A Witcher! The king must have summoned him to fight the raids. You think? I'm certain. Ha! Is a cat? That's a shield with a cat on. Well, this place is as good as any. Let's see here. Do you have a skill point? Uh, yes, we do. Let's deal with that. We got, even got two talents. Potion duration, yes please. And then that. So after we have gotten that one, we're gonna be going for this one. Max this one out. Alright, I will be stopping there for tonight. We are at the very beginning of uh, chapter 2, so... Then we can begin with it completed tomorrow. So I'll be back tomorrow at 8pm Central European Summertime. And then we will continue with this. Probably got a day or two here. So until then, take care and good night, everyone. I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.